Hi there, my name is Chad, and this is your Moho tutorial for the week. I wanted to do a little bit more for this tutorial because I received some great questions from last week's tutorial regarding the actions for mouth poses in Moho. People asked if you could apply a head turn and also use the action at the same time using a combination of smart bones and those actions. And the answer is yes, you can. And that's what I'm going to show you here today, but I'm not going to go too far into it simply because I don't really have the time to do so. I'm actually in the process of moving into a new place. So this is going to be a quick tutorial, but hopefully it'll answer some questions from last week. So with that said, we'll jump in and get started. So here we are, I'm inside of Moho, and I have a character ready to go. Now this character is complete and has quite a few things going on. Just to show you, let me come up here to the bone layer on the layers panel, and then we'll use the manipulate bone tool. And I can come in, and you can see I can move the arms, I can move the legs, and I have other dials up here as well. I can make him happy or sad, there's eyelids to control the blinks. We can use the transform bones tool to come in and move our pupils if we wish. So we can do that pretty easily. And more importantly, for the sake of this tutorial, zoom in here, we have dials for head turning. So I can turn the head to the right and I can turn it to the left. And I can also tilt up and down as well, to a certain extent. Not really far for the down and up, but you get the idea. Also, with this rig, let me use Command K to bring up the actions. Come down here and locate Face on the Layers panel. And then I'll click on Morphs within the Actions panel. You can see I have actions set up for lip syncing. And on the character's face layer, we have the head, we have the teeth and tongue, as well as some other properties making up the inside of the mouth. And then you have the opening of the mouth right here. So if we were to apply one of these poses, if I come in and copy the reference, you can see here it's going to interpolate just like I showed you in last week's tutorial. So we come in, we can add the S sound. So you go like this and you can see it's just coming together and everything is animating the way it should and it's looking good. So once you apply actions for the face to create these mouth poses, I'm just going to remove these for a moment. We can then create a smart bone action for the head turn. If I come over here and go to all, I'll come down to my head turns here. Let's just use the right head turn as an example. Click on that. You can see here's the action. It lasts for a second. And basically all we have is this everything moving with the bone shifting until it gets to the end. And there's a bunch of different things going on here. The face is transforming like this, and most importantly, I'm transforming the inner parts of the mouth along with it. So you can see that the inner mouth, the tongue, and the teeth are all shifting along with this head turn smart bone action. So I have the mouth animating with the mouth actions and then moving with the smart bone action. And in addition to that, I have all sorts of other things going on on these other layers to make this head turn work. So you can see the hair has keyframes. We have some for the lines, the mustache, the nose, and everything in between. So once you have that set up, we can go back to the main line. I'm going to come in and add some head turns. So we'll start on frame six. I'm just going to keyframe left head turn. We'll go to frame 18. I can turn it to the left. We'll hold there for a moment. So we'll just keyframe that dial and then move it back to the center. And then we can come in and then rotate the head to the right, but also making sure we come back here to 42. We'll just change that dial back like that. So we have it go like this and then like that. So now I'll come in and let's say starting on frame six, we'll go over to the face, click on that, click on your morphs, find the phonemes, so we'll click on the A sound, and we'll insert a copy. So we have the mouth animating like this, and you can see it stays open as he moves his head to the left. But also, what we could do is change this while it's moving. So we could change it to, let's say, the F pose, insert a copy. 
So you can see it actually animates out as he is moving his head. That obviously opens up a lot of possibilities for animation and makes the process pretty automated. And I'll just keep going like this. So we can come in, I'll insert the TH pose. So you can see it animates out while we are moving about here. Come in, we can close it then. And I think you can see that it's working pretty good. So hopefully that answers some questions regarding how to use actions to animate out the mouth and combining them with smart bone actions. It's not perfect and it does require a lot of work, but if you're willing to put in that time, once you have your rig set, you can use it over and over and over. And that's the great thing about this process. So with that said, I'm going to take off and continue moving. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next week in a new place, I'm assuming and hoping. <laughs> so I'll see you then. And thanks for watching.